welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Yagi Uda antennas uh, that can be used to increase the transmission signal of your quad's remote controller and give you a bit more boost in range. But first, I want to give you a quick uh, little history behind the technology of these antennas. So the Yagi Uda antenna was named after two Japanese gentlemen by the name of uh, Shintaro Uda who was the one who actually invented it in 1926 and his colleague uh, Hidesugu, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Hidesugu Yagi, who played a lesser role in the invention of the antenna. Now many people refer to these as the Yagi antennas and that's because Yagi himself filed the patent on the idea in Japan without putting Uda's name on it. So yeah, he basically got the credit. He then later ended up uh, transferring the patent to the Marconi company in the UK, who was later uh, bought by uh, General uh, Electric. But that's a whole other story. Now these antennas are directional antennas that are composed of multiple parallel elements in a straight line. Uh, they're usually made from uh, metal rods, which they call half-wave dipoles. The antenna's design has a single driven element, in this case the remote controller's antenna, and additional parasitic elements which are not electrically connected to the transmitter or receiver. And these are called the uh, reflector and the directors. As you can see here, the reflector is slightly longer than the directors, and uh, which are shorter. And that's because together they absorb and re-radiate the RF waves uh, from the antenna and they modify its uh, radiation pattern in the form of a beam. Uh, therefore, it enhances it to a single direction um, to achieve that substantial increase in the antenna's gain. That's why uh, they also call it beam antennas. Um, the gain which you get from these antennas depend on the number of elements used, uh, you know, the directors. For example, if you add more of uh, the directors, then you'll get a much narrower beam, which would allow the RF signal to go out farther. Now, some of you might ask, what's the difference between these antennas and the parabolic ones? Uh, the difference between the Yagi Udas and a set of parabolic uh, reflectors, like these right here, is that they reflect the RF waves in a much wider pattern compared to the Yagi Udas, which direct the signal in a narrow pattern, which makes them a bit more precise when it comes to transmitting long range signals. But the cool thing is that you can also combine uh, these two to increase your range uh, even further if you wanted to. Now, apart from all of this, what I like the most about these Yagi Uda antennas and also the parabolic reflectors is that they both absorb radiation that would normally be hitting your body and it uh, takes that radiation and reflects it away from you, which in my opinion is actually great because your body's not getting that, you know, it's not getting hit with all of that unwanted radiation that would normally be emitting back towards you when you're operating uh, your drone via the remote controller. So that's definitely a plus for me. Um, I'll leave a link in the description section below on where you can buy both uh, Yagi Uda antennas and the parabolic reflectors. Anyway, that's basically all I wanted to share with you. Hope you all enjoyed the video and found something useful from it. Uh, for those of you who are new here, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell uh, next to the subscribe button as well. And this will notify you anytime I do upload any new videos in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.